It's Melanie. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back. I hope your day's off to a fantastic start. All right. So yesterday I shared my absolutely absurd uh, Sephora wish list or cart, if you will. Um, in that video, I asked you guys to help me edit it down. And I really appreciate how um, brutal some of you were in terms of telling me what to get rid of. Honestly, it was helpful. So thank you for that. If you missed that video and you want to take a look at everything that I have in my cart and then tell me what I could easily get rid of, that'd be great. I will put it down below in the description box. Uh, yeah, I have definitely already started editing that cart down. And once I took a look at everything and, you know, just took a look at also what I currently still have, it was a lot easier to step back and start removing things. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what ultimately I do end up picking up. So, um, the Sephora sale does start on the 27th if you are rouge. Um, and it goes until November 6th. I believe that the other two tiers, which are VIB and Beauty Insider, I believe you can start shopping on October 31st. Um, don't quote me on that. I will also put that in the description box down below. So um, if you're interested in shopping the sale, it is, you know, the tiered version where Rouge gets 20%, VIB gets 15 and Beauty Insiders get 10 I don't love the way that Sephora does this, but it is what it is. Um, I do definitely hear from a lot of you that you are opting to not shop at Sephora, which I think is perfectly acceptable. Um, and you are opting to uh, shop at Ulta instead, which honestly I do. I do most of my shopping at Ulta. I've certainly spent probably more than twice at Ulta what I have spent at Sephora this year. So um, I definitely prefer uh, Ulta in a lot of ways, but there are some things that um, you can't get at Ulta that you can only get at Sephora. That is changing, I will say. And honestly, a lot of times you can go to these different brands that you are interested in purchasing from and even just signing up for their emails will often save you 20, sometimes even 30% off of your purchase. Um, so it's sometimes it's smart to just purchase directly from the brand. Most of them offer free shipping anyway. Um, so yeah, I mean, Sephora, I feel like the way that they're doing things is to, uh, they're definitely going to phase themselves out. Um, but you know, it is what it is. If you happen to be shopping the Sephora sale, here are my recommendations to you. These are tried and true items. And I would honestly really only recommend picking these up if you have, um, 20% off a couple of these items. I think I might have a discount code for, so if I do, I will put that information down below. But um, yeah, if you want to go buy directly from the brands, you'll save 20%, whether you're VIB, Insider, or Rouge, because the brand doesn't care. <laughs> they would rather, honestly, probably get your money directly. Anyway, let's get into it, you guys. These are my loves. These are the items that I wholeheartedly recommend. Obviously, this guy's out of stock, but you might be able to find it in store. So as far as devices go, I wanted to recommend two. They both happen to be from Foreo. Um, as far as cleansing devices go, I am still using the last of my Clarisonic brush heads. I still love my Clarisonic. Um, I will miss that device greatly. But honestly, the Foreo Luna 4 Go, especially this little guy right here, I think is a fantastic replacement. I have one. Um, I do use that for traveling. Um, it's very compact but it has um, a large enough surface area for cleaning that like it really, I, I don't even think you need the full size. So, um, and for $129, I think it's a decent price point, especially again, if you can get 20% off. Um, I just love this thing. Also, it stays charged forever. <laughs> you might only have to charge this thing like two or three times a year. Honestly, it is so rare that I charge this and I use it quite a bit. Honestly, most mornings I will use this in the shower just because it has a really nice massaging action as well. So it kind of wakes my face up a little bit. 
Um, and it's super gentle. And this uh, silicone material that they use is very hygienic. It doesn't harbor bacteria. So it, it's it's a really great, uh, great uh, skincare cleansing device. All right, the Foreo Bear. So this is a uh, microcurrent device. I have really come to rely on this. Ever since getting masseter talks, it did take out the bulk out of the like back jaw portion of my face. Um, and that has kind of caused some laxity towards the front. Um, I would rather have that laxity because it means I'm not clenching and grinding my teeth anymore. And honestly, I would rather keep my teeth. So I will deal with a little bit of the jowling. I can negate that with this device. So this uh, uh, microcurrent device has an anti-shock system, so it's very um, safe to use. There's no, you know, zings or anything like that. Um, it's just a really, really great one. It's compact and yeah, I mean, it's out of stock online right now, but you can certainly um, have them notify you or check out in your local store if you can find it in store. Okay, as far as heat protectants go, um, I wanted to recommend at least one. So I opted to recommend the Purology Color Fanatic Heat Protectant Leave-In Protector because I think this one is a good one across the board. Whether you have fine hair, whether you have thick hair, it has a nice thinner lotion-like consistency. So it doesn't weigh fine hair down. But it also just is full of like crazy hydrating ingredients that just make your hair so soft, um, very silky, and definitely protected from whatever heat style you are going to subject your hair to, whether it's just a hair dryer or a hair dryer and straightener or curling iron, whatever, whatever you do on a daily basis, this will definitely protect your hair. Okay, wanted to recommend a blush line and I'm gonna go, I always recommend this because I just think these are the most beautiful blushes, you guys. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Collection. Now, if you're wanting to try some of their other ambient lighting powders, I think I included um, their their palette this year. Where is it? Sorry, we're going down a ways. Oh yeah. These ambient lighting edit unlocked palettes. Listen, they're $90. They are very expensive, but usually they come with a couple of blushes. Um, this one actually comes with three. It looks like there's usually a few of the, or a couple of the ambient lighting powders and maybe a bronzer. They're all different. Take a look at them. Again, I will link all this stuff down below. Um, this would be a great option if you want to try a few different colors, but if you are just looking for a new blush in your life, one, this will last you forever, and two, they're so beautiful, you guys. They just wear absolutely fantastically on my oily skin. Just cannot recommend this enough. Okay, um, I'm going to go through some skincare next. First, I'm going to recommend the Paula's Choice 10% Azelaic Acid Booster. Now, this is another one where... You can just shop directly from Paula's Choice and probably save 20% as well. So I will link this at Sephora and at Paula's Choice down below. But this Azelaic Acid Booster is actually something that I am pairing with something else that I will recommend from pharmacy here in a few minutes. But it is doing a really good job on my melasma. Is it as good as the hydroquinone? No. But also this is a little bit safer, if you will than hydroquinone. It can be used on a more ongoing basis. Hydroquinone, obviously, you need to take a break from. So as far as azelaic uh, acid boosters go, this one is fabulous, and I have loved it, and I will definitely repurchase it. Um, in terms of the other skincare, let's go down here to my beloved Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. I just think this is the very best SPF for every single day, especially if you have combination or oily skin. But I think this would work for a normal, maybe a dry skin type if you're going to pair it with a moisturizer anyway. But I just find this to be the most perfect SPF for me, so I just like to shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> Everyone needs to try it. All right, as far as BHA goes, if you have enlarged pores, you probably deal with either blackheads or sebaceous filaments. This is the very best BHA exfoliant that I have ever used. It's from Paula's Choice. Listen, a little bit of this goes a long way. You will have this Ferrance bottle forever. I basically just pour a little bit into the palm of my hand, just a few shakes of the product, 
and then I um, gently uh, pat that into my skin and I really like massage it into my pores. It's a really great exfoliant that will keep uh, the sebaceous filaments at bay and it will also help to clear blackheads. So if you've never tried it, I cannot recommend it enough. And if we go down here a little bit further, um, I love these so much, you guys. I have fallen in love with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew... Jeez Louise, that's a mouthful. Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drop Serum. This stuff is fabulous, you guys. Now, also, the Watermelon Glow PHA Plus BHA Pore Tight Toner. I just tried this for the first time this year and also fell in love with this. So this little set right here is actually a great pairing of both of these products because you get a full size of the toner and a full size of the dew drops. And then there's also a little guy of their um, watermelon glow moisturizer, which I think is nice. I, I think it's a nice moisturizer, but honestly, the standout products for me in this watermelon glow line are absolutely the dew drop serum and this pore tight toner. If you're in the market at all for anything that has either of these two ingredients, check these out. They're so, so good. All right. Now coming down here to the pharmacy recommendations, I am a pharmacy partner, so I actually have a 20% discount code with these guys. I will put that information in the description box down below. You can use that and whether, you know, whatever your status is at Sephora, you'll save 20% there. But specifically the Pharmacy Brighten Up 3% Transamic Acid Dark Spot Toner with Azelaic Acid. So what I've been doing, um, because this already has some Azelaic Acid in it, um, I've been pairing this with the Paula's Choice Azelaic Acid because I think that is the magic combination for lightening up my um, my melasma on my forehead without using hydroquinone. Now, it's not as fast. It's not as dramatic. So it's going to take me longer to lighten it up. But if you're not going the hydroquinone route, this would be the very best way that I would recommend approaching it. So basically, I just put a few shakes of this into the palm of my hand. I rub that into my forehead. And then I follow up with the uh, Azelaic Acid Booster on top. And then I will also do a moisturizer. Now, a lot of times I will top it off with this bad boy here. Listen, if you haven't tried the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Night Mask, I don't care what your skin type is. Even if it's dry, you need to try this mask. You will wake up with the most beautiful almost poreless skin. I don't know what it is about this particular mask, but when I wake up in the morning after using this, my skin is absolutely perfect. This provides some hydration for me. Uh, it might not provide enough hydration for those of you with a very dry skin type, but it's, it's great for me. Um, but you will just, it, it nourishes the skin. It's got that beautiful niacinamide in there. So it helps with the reduction of pores, helps to calm inflammation in the skin. Um, just such a huge recommendation here. Um, I, I cannot talk enough about this particular product. Try it. Okay, so let's go back up here. Um, I think that's all the skincare. Oh, wait, this, my beloved. <laughs> Okay, the Paula's Choice Clinical 20% Niacinamide. Listen, only if you have super enlarged pores would I recommend this. Also, make sure that you don't have sensitive skin. Niacinamide in this high of a concentration can cause some irritation for certain people. So worth keeping an eye out for that. But I'm telling you, I, I know this is a scary price point, but this product is fabulous. And it's just a few drops and you rub it directly into the skin. It's fabulous. I just can't say enough about it. Okay, let's do some hair care recommendations. Listen, uh, you know about my favorite brands. I'm not going to like sugarcoat this. These are fabulous. They are worth the price. I was surprised to not see like a holiday set come out from Virtue. Maybe that's still coming. But anyway, I just buy these in their largest sizes. So this is the price point, obviously, for the 8-ounce size of the shampoo and the 6.7-ounce size of the conditioner. This is specifically the Virtue Hydrating Recovery Shampoo and Conditioner. Fabulous for naturally gray hair. If you don't mind splurging on hair care, you will love both of these. Super concentrated, 
they will last you a long time. Also, the Purology Hydrate um, is fantastic. So this is their shampoo and conditioner. You also get to try that Color Fanatic leave-in treatment that I recommended up here in this particular kit. So make sure that you check that out. Um, let's go back up here. Well, actually, let's since we're down here. Um, listen, it's not a recommendations video for me without some perfume recommendations. So. I am going to recommend the following. This is a duo of the Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar Travel Size Perfume Set. Um, this is a great deal, $48. I believe this is a one, it's a one ounce of the Eau de Parfum, and then it is a 0.17 ounce, so just a small travel of their, um, of, of this scent, Sparkling Sugar. I have reviewed this. I will link the in-depth review uh, in the description box down below. If you like a very sweet, candy, feminine, super fun scent, try Sparkling Sugar. It's so good. I also love the longevity of these fragrances. They're fabulous. Let's, sorry, I don't want to make you guys sick. Let's scroll back up to the uh, fragrances here. Always, always, always the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. If you haven't tried it, it is one of the best, like deeper, more cozy, slightly woody vanillas. Uh, just trust me, it's fantastic. And this is a new recommendation. Um, I also did an in-depth review of the Floral Street Sweet Almond Blossom. I wanted to recommend a beautiful floral option. Um, and this is it, you guys. I have the sweet option, I have the cozy vanilla, and then this is the beautiful white clean floral with a definite hint of almond. It is stunning, just trust me. If you like floral scents, give this one a try. If you like vanillas, give this one a try. And if you like the sweet girly scents, definitely try the sparkling sugar. Okay, um, listen. Uh, the Nest Holiday Birchwood and Pine. This is what my house smells like. <laughs> well, my house smells like a lot of things during the holidays, but this is a staple of two candles that I always get every single year. Um, this duo of both of these, I think, is a good deal, especially if you can get 20% off of it. Um, the Nest candles are quite spendy. I wouldn't recommend their three wicks. Honestly, they get kind of dirty and gross on me, but their eight wicks usually burn just fine. I would not recommend burning these beyond three to four hours at a time. If you stick with that, you'll have a really great burn, but I love these two. And if you want classic, beautiful, sophisticated, elegant holiday scents, Birchwood Pine and Holiday are your go-to. They're absolutely fabulous. Ding. Sorry, let me turn that off. Okay, let's get going with, what do we have left? Some makeup. All right, we've got some makeup. So uh, you, you need a good eye primer. I know I do. And this time around, I am recommending the Hourglass Veil Eye Primer. I purchased this for the last time. It was probably actually last November. I fell in love with it. I'm just now finishing it. So it took me a year. So <laughs> now I did test a couple of eye primers here and there throughout that year. But for the most part, this is what I was using exclusively. It's fabulous. And for this to last a year, this 30 bucks is definitely worth it for me. So I'll be buying another one of these and I wholeheartedly recommend it. Um, as far as eyeshadow palettes, my favorite purchase this year was definitely the Natasha Denona. I need a nude palette. I love this one. It is just the most perfect everyday easy palette. You don't have to think about this one. Um, it's obviously a little bit more cool toned, but I do think that a huge variety of skin tones could use this and just, I mean, look at the reviews that it's getting like fabulous reviews because it's a really great eyeshadow palette. Just trust me on this one. It's worth it. And then let's see, do we have anything left up here? Oh yes. I wanted to recommend a setting powder and this, this is it. I promise we're done after this. Um, I'm really enjoying this Fenty powder. Honestly, uh, the one that I picked up in butter, this is the, uh, this is the color that I opted for. This is the pro filter instant retouch setting powder. This does a fantastic job of prolonging the wear of my makeup. It's that really nicely, nice silky texture of powder. So it doesn't settle into pores. It almost floats on top of the skin. 
I apply this right over top of my SPF before I go in with powder foundation. Oh, the finish is gorgeous, you guys. I'm telling you, it is beautiful. Highly, highly recommend. And if you're in the market for a new powder, definitely try that one. And that's it, you guys. Those are my recommendations. So there's a lot. Um, obviously, I'm not telling you to get all these things. Just if you're in the market for any of these, these are the products that I have I have used, I have loved, I just cannot recommend enough of, and um, yeah, I, I think you'd be very pleased with any of these, any of these if you, they popped them into your cart. All right, let me know what your recommendations would be for anybody who is shopping the sale in the comments down below, and um, I look forward to reading through those myself, and hopefully I don't find anything to add to my list. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.